welcome back to Joyce Sprouts. In today's video, we're going to go to Disney World, as you can see, to celebrate their 50th anniversary. Come and follow me for a full day of eats. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. This is the 50th anniversary spring rolls. So it's made out of pastrami and pepper jack cheese. They also gave us mustard, which is honey mustard, which is different from my typical Worcestershire sauce and also spring rolls that I usually eat is made out of either shrimp, pork, or and cabbage, some sort of vegetables, beet sprouts, some goodies, but this is different. So let's see if this twist is good or not. Okay, let me try it without the sauce first. like a cheeseburger at a fancy restaurant. It's, it's interesting. I wouldn't really label this as a spring roll. It has a very big western cake. Maybe it'll taste better with the honey mustard. Let's see. Okay. I will get there. Hope it doesn't taste like a hot dog after this. Hmm. This gets weirder and weirder with the mustard. It tastes like you're taking a bite out of a bologna sandwich. You know when your mom packs you lunch when you were in elementary school and you're not really sure what kind of surprise you're going to get? That's how I feel right now. I would give this four out of 10. I don't think you need to try it. No, I don't think so. You can skip on this. No white cone. I'm so excited. This is one of those too pretty to eat kind of things. So let me break it down a little bit so I don't feel as guilty. This is a little bluebird and a bow. Okay, let's try the bluebird first. Mm. Very good. It's chocolate. Let's try this bow. Now I'll keep it on. I eat. I have a little cute bow. So good. It's like, have you ever had lemonade on a hot summer day? That's what it feels like. Very refreshing. I mentioned it's too, too pretty to eat. Not the case. I just want to finish all of it. Flavor is a citrus pineapple, Dole Whip. I tried making this peak quarantine, did not succeed. It tasted too like, too strong pineapple. You actually use a lot of pineapple juice for this, so I'm very impressed. This does not let you down. I would give this 10 out of 10 off the charts. Probably my favorite dessert so far. You have to come here for this. This is their raspberry lemonade slushie. Let's try it. I think it tastes more raspberry than the lemonade in itself. 
I'm a bit, huge fan of lemonade, so that's a little disappointing. It's not as liquid as I would like it either. Strong raspberry flavor. I would give this four out of 10. Try the mouth pencil. It is a close up. Oh, all the salt just fell. It also has the 50 anniversary and the wrapping as well. Of course, you have to get some cheese with it, but let me just try it plain. Just a regular salted Mickey Mouse pencil. Tuck the ears. It's falling apart. Like my life. steak that was overcooked. It's dry, tasteless. This is how it tastes like. Good thing I got the cheese. Let's see if it tastes any better with it. See? In all its glory, cheese usually saves the day. I don't bite off more than you can chew because that that was a lot the cheese saved it in the sense that you know when you get Korean barbecue or something flavored it saves it in a little bit but it's still dry the essence of it is still not up to par with my expectations so this unfortunately very cute it's just good looking just like me but two out of ten sorry What do you guys think this is by the shape? It's popcorn. See how different it tastes from your typical movie theater popcorn. It's crunchy, it's popcorn. I wish it was warmer, but the sun's already. Straight to the point. I might want to keep this just for souvenir. to Gideon's Bakehouse. So excited to try this. It looks exquisite inside. A lot of books. I don't really read much, but I'm 
apparently the owner does, so. Here, let me unwrap it for you guys. It's packaged in this nice paper wrapper. Ooh, let's get a close up of this. Super nice. Let me try the top pieces first. This is the cookie and cream cookie. Hey! First bite. The Oreos taste really good. It's legit. Mm. Here's the inside. There's some cream inside if you can see. It's a little bit on the drier side. I thought it would be more moist. But it is a really big cookie. I think it's a pound. Feels like a pound. Very sweet. I'm more of a savory person, as you can tell, so. Okay. It's a really big cookie. That's what it is, just an Oreo, very big cookie. I like it. The store is really nice, and I'm about the aesthetics. But for the cookie, it's a little dry and crumbly. I would say it's a little too sweet for my preference. I'm gonna give this 7 out of 10. Pretty good. Let's try this poutine, Canadian poutine. Obviously, I have to have my Starbies. Stick it. Here's a close up, actually. Close up shot. Okay. Five out of ten. The fries are not crispy enough. It's kind of soggy. It's like your high school lunchroom kind of fries. I don't even know what this is. Mozzarella. <laughs> Big chunks of mozzarella. My dog would like it. Gravy's pretty good. Very salty. Thick consistency, thick. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <laughs> Don't judge my chopstick skills. Mm. So good. Uh, it just melts in your mouth. And this wasabi vinaigrette, perfect duo. So good, you need to try it. This is 10 out of 10, this is really good. I want to try the fattier parts, actually. See? That's good. That's good. Straight up tastes like butter. Try this. This is beef lo mein. Close up. Get some beef and some lo mein. Okay. 
Okay. This Lumine is more like teriyaki style. I feel like the Lumine I'm used to is on a, the noodles are thicker. These are more thin. I feel like this tastes less of the Chinese Lumine I'm used to from rest Chinese restaurants, but it's still very good. It's very prominent in the sauce. I would give this rating wise. Let me try it one more time. It's the noodles. I'm really particular about noodles. Okay. Eight out of ten. Not bad. Try some of this radish. You know what It's good. Let's focus on the paprika. This is what this place is known for. This is so good. I've heard great things about it, so I'm really excited to try it. And open up. These are the buns. They're actually different from what I expected. I expected them to be white, fluffy breads, but they seem pretty healthy, so we'll see. It just feels flatter a little bit. Ooh, if I can only really detangle this. I made it super ugly, okay. I sanitized, don't worry guys. So you open up the bun. Oh, interesting. These feel like the tacos, the little taco burritos. So this one looks like. I'm gonna grab. I love the skin. Look at that crispy skin. So crispy, like I was born yesterday. Mmm. So this is how you do it. You grab some of this picking duck, or bucking up some of the skin. I love the skin, so I'm gonna grab a few extra pieces. Some cucumber. And grab some of this hoisin sauce. Glaze it over. Let me try what this is. I think this is duck sauce, which is not what I typically see. So if it is, I may steer clear. Yeah, that's more of a plum, plum sauce, duck sauce. I'm try it now, for now. I'm gonna actually put some more because I love poison sauce or oyster sauce. I'm just gonna put it around. And you just wrap it up like this, like a little burrito. Ooh, can you hear the crunch? Okay, let's go. It's really good. That was so juicy. The skin is so crispy. With the cilantro, oh sorry, the cucumber. I think some of it is scallion as well. Scallion and the oyster sauce is perfect. I don't think you even need the sauce. I think traditionally it's just with this hoisin or oyster sauce. It's so good. Mm. So good. I would give this 10 out of 10. I would recommend this place for this. It's very good. Look at this. This is the baton beef and crispy tomato stir fry. Anything over there? With macaroni and cheese as a side and some broccoli. You need to stay healthy. Let's try some of this. A smaller bite. I'm trying to be fancy here. Hmm. 
pleasantly surprised. This is right, really moist. It looks like they braced it. I was expecting it to be drier since it's huge chunks. Okay. Can. Probably can't see that. Huge chunks. But no, it's really moist. Let me try another bite just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Mm. It's like a burst of moisture in your mouth. It's really good. It's kind of like that. Have you ever tried bursting boba? It feels like that. Try the mac and cheese. Okay, the mac and cheese is smaller than I expected. Cut it into a little, it looks like little beads. It's like half mac and cheese. Nothing special. Try the broccoli. Oh. That's drier than a desert. I need to sip the water after that. Okay. Collectively, I would say. out of 10. I think the mac and cheese kind of brought it down and the broccoli brought it down. The beef was really good and tender. And they give you big chunks. But the rest is just okay. Now, let's try this. I'm so excited for this one. The smoked kadu pork ribs. Ooh, and look at that. They have some... Oh, there's some Parmesan crisp on top. No, whatever it is. I don't really cook. I just eat. Cut it up. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Okay, okay. Just falls off the bone. Just kidding. Have to try it a little bit. Get some of the panko crust crumbs that I was trying to say earlier. That's tasty. Wow. That was good. It's a little spicy, which I wasn't expecting, but I like spicy, so it was a pleasant surprise. It actually tastes a little bit like curry seasoning. Interesting. I like it. This is good. We already tried the rest, so it's probably going to be the same. But let's see if they're consistent. Mm. It's the same. The rest is the same. Okay, the ribs were not bad. I would say seven out of ten. Uh, I would, I like it more than the beef because it has some sort of glaze on top, a little barbecue sauce. Pretty good. Okay. Lemonade. This has vodka, lemonade, and black cherry, I believe. Mmm, it's really good. Actually, it's a weird aftertaste. I think that's the vodka. I'm not crazy about vodka. I really like lemonade, though. I don't really taste the cherry. It doesn't taste heavily liquor though, which I like, but it could be dangerous. It might feel, you know, after a bit. <laughs> but it's pretty refreshing. It's pretty refreshing. I would say for a drink, it's not bad. Eight out of ten. Pretty good. I like the color. It's really appealing, raspberry red kind of color. Okay, now these. This is a star player. Zoom in on this. This is their secret menu. Top chose the sour cream, cheese, bacon. Oh, scallions! I love scallions. The details, and of course, tater tots. One of my favorite fries. So I'm very excited for this. It's not even on the menu yet. I kind of saw this lady ahead of me get this. So, 
and the red cash register lady was said it was a secret menu, so I'm gonna have to try it. You guys are here first. Go Joy Sprouts. You get a little bit of everything. Get some sour cream. Okay, I am so excited. It was really good when I first put it in my mouth. It tasted like chilies. Or I see some pinto beans. But then as I ate it, potato tots are kind of stale. Oh, they have Fritos. Okay. Let's see why it's a secret menu item. It should stay a secret. Um, 5 out of 10. I had high hopes, but maybe I hired the expectations. I don't know where I'm going with this. Should have had low expectations for this. High hopes, low expectations. No. High expectations, low hopes. <laughs> Okay guys, this is the conclusion of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed my time here at Disney World as much as I did. Until next time, peace out, Bean Sprouts.